what's up guys uh yeah i am here filming i have not filmed in a long time and that has been my intro for the past five or six videos but it feels good to be back and i'm trying to find time you know with a little one cleo is almost 15 months old still a new mom phase as far as adjusting with time and trying to figure out when to film. So I thought I'd start the year off with a handbag video, my favorite thing to talk about. I'm pretty sure most of you guys that are following me have a love for handbags and designer goods. And with this past horrendous year, I feel like it was so not necessary to purchase any handbags. There's nowhere to really go. I'm only going to target the grocery store, maybe to grab coffee once in a blue moon. And there's just no reason for a new handbag. It really made me start thinking about how much I still love the bags that I have. And a lot of people in the fashion world no longer consider them cool. So I thought I'd do a video on it bags that are not cool anymore that I personally love. Maybe you guys can fall in love with your old handbags too from this video and get inspiration. I'm not saying I'll never buy a handbag during, you know, this time, but I just don't think it's, it's not necessary. I have no reason for a new handbag at all. And because this might be a touchy subject to some people, let's have a conversation about it in the comments. I think that this is a very fun, cool subject. And I also really love, can I note, I really love that vintage handbags are now popular or trendy. I mean, in my head, in my life, in my world, they're always cool, always like a thing because that's just part of my personal style. I really love how popular they are right now. It's so refreshing because now you're seeing so many people have vintage handbags and you're not seeing so much of a repetitiveness. You're not seeing the exact same bag over and over and over again. Um, I feel like a lot of bigger bloggers and fashion bloggers that I follow are totally emerged in the vintage handbag world and it's just really refreshing to see them actually kind of upcycle these bags versus just showing these bags that designers are just gifting them. I know a lot of designers are doing re-editions or new additions to bags that they've had in the past, but I do feel like definitely sparked a vintage handbag surge and I just love it. I love seeing it uh, and I talked about it before on my Instagram that if I dabble into handbags anytime soon, it's going to be more from the vintage world. I feel like also too the quality is just completely different and I just really like carrying stuff that you don't see as often. But with that being said, only one of the handbags I'm talking about today I think would be considered vintage. The other bags aren't, but I still absolutely love them. And I don't know why. I don't know what these handbags did to anybody. I don't know why so many of them get hate. I don't know why so many people are just getting rid of them and just, I don't know, it just makes me sad for these bags. But I wanted to talk about them. There's six that I'm talking about, three I used to own, three I have in my possession now. And obviously there's so many more, but we could be here all day if we talked about all of them. But leave them in the comments, all the bags, all the it bags that are no longer cool that you love. I want to know what those are. Okay, so the first one is an extremely iconic handbag and there's such a taboo behind it i feel like it's very 50 50 you either have so much respect for this bag and always have or for some reason you think that it's so passe that it's just gross and a basic b-word bag and i hate that saying i hate that saying it's so first of all it's not nice second of all to each their own who cares if somebody likes a bag that you don't but this bag has gotten such a bad rap i feel like maybe it's emerged in a little bit of a new light because of the vintage bag situation going on, and that is the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bag. This is the first bag that sparked my love and joy for Louis Vuitton. This bag has been around since 1930, and the original size for like the handbag version of it was the size 30. And then I believe in 1959, Audrey Hepburn wanted a smaller version for herself, and that would be the Speedy 25. And that is when it became like this huge it bag everyone saw her with it and i feel like that's kind of when like the whole it bag thing started correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like that's when it happened everybody wanted to have that bag because she had it they made that size specially for her and to me it's so iconic it's obviously super vintage and it makes me sad that people think it's like a basic b-word bag because it's absolutely not and it's the first designer bag i ever spent my own coin on and i was so proud of it and it's my biggest regret to this day as far as what handbag bags I have sold. And I'm not saying I'll never repurchase it again, but I'll never be able to get that exact bag back. So I kind of have like this like ugh feeling. I do see myself purchasing a Speedy 25 or Speedy B25. Also, I'm very in love with the Nano size, the newer version. HL is really cute too, but that one seems a little bit 
too small for functioning. The only downside to the new Nano is that it doesn't have a removable strap, so that's kind of a con. But they also make the Speedy BBs, which I think is a little bit bigger, and those are beautiful. I mean, if you love the Speedy Nano, how could you hate on the Speedy? I've seen people talk trash about the iconic Speedy bag, but are on a waiting list for a Speedy Nano. Makes no sense. You, I feel like this is one of the bags that you really just need to respect. I love the history behind it, the art behind it, just everything that it stands for. So I will forever always love the Speedy bag. Okay, so I thought I would do one that I don't have in my possession and then one that I do have in my possession and vice versa each time. So the next bag I'm gonna talk about is definitely a controversial one. And this is one of the newer it bags that is now being I think frowned upon I feel like more more and more people are selling it and then the people that are purchasing it I noticed that they just they just truly love the bag is something that you guys know I will always highly recommend and I show this bag in almost all my bag videos and it's the Gucci Marmont bag and mine specifically is a mini size you guys know I just recently sold my medium size which I have to say now I regret it it's not hard to find on the pre-love market. I could buy it back whenever I want, but then I'm not going anywhere, so I don't need it, but I kind of regret selling that bag. Now that Cleo's a little bit older, I do find that I could totally, totally use it. But this size in particular, I want in every color. I want it, now they're doing it in silver. I want it in red, I want it in beige. I just love, love this size. So this bag came out in 2016 and it came out with only in a few colors and now they're doing so many different versions of it but I see more and more people dissing it and getting rid of it and I just what did this bag do to anyone this is one of the most functional in my opinions functional luxury designer flat bags and I think it's more functional over the Chanel bag I said it I have a couple of Chanel's I well you could see the denim one right there but I have a mini that's comparable as far as in size to this I have a black um, caviar with silver hardware it's so stiff it's so boxy it pops out of my body it doesn't have these four holes it has you know the iconic leather woven out through the chain but I wish they, it didn't it's so much easier to slide in and out through the holes without leather and it's just so cute and I do feel like wearing it as a shoulder bag kind of is a cute nod to the whole vintage look because you know bags this length right now are very in so i will forever always say that this bag is more functional over the chanel mini you kind of have to go into like the chanel small classic flap range to sort of get you know the two like the four holes but also too i want to note that this is one of the only other designers besides chanel doing flat bags that actually have a clasp i know saint laurent has so many beautiful flat bags i actually really really love the lulu bag in the medium size and i love that they do a chain with no leather woven in it but it's all snap and i wish there was like i mean saint laurent is so capable of just putting like a cool closure this closure is so cool and easy to use and I'll forever love this bag. The only con about this bag that I can say is I wish I had a back pocket. That's it. It's not even really a con. It's just a, a thing I would add on to it, if that makes sense. So I will forever and always, always, always recommend this bag. So many people might have gotten sick of it or might not think it's cool anymore because either they're sick of seeing it or they just think that this gold logo thing is gaudy. For me, this sort of is kind of cool. I kind of love that. I think it's quirky and fun and a kind of like an F you to like the fashion world. I don't know why. I think it's just really, really cool. But if you only really liked this bag because it was an it bag, then yeah, I guess you could fall out of love with it. But can you at least admit if you had this bag and you don't like it anymore that it was functional? Can you at least admit that? Like the chain was super smooth and the clasp works really good. I don't know what this bag did to anyone, but I absolutely love it. Okay, another bag that I used to own that, it's not that I regret so much selling it, but there has been times where I'm like, Ugh, I wish I had that bag still. It would be perfect for this occasion. It's so understated. It's so beautiful. It's so classic, so timeless. And that's the Gucci Soho Disco bag. I see less and less people carrying this. I really don't know why. It has the most timeless silhouette ever. It's a camera it's a square, a rectangle, I don't even know. It's just such a timeless silhouette and it's really, really understated. I really love how it's just an embossed or embroidered GG on the front, has a simple tassel. It is kind of identifiable if you know, you know, but at the same time, if you do know, then you're just like, oh, okay, cool. That's understated, it's nice. And I have been, I mean, this is kind of an oxymoron to that Gucci bag, but I have been kind of loving understated bags lately. 
I do feel like it kind of correlates with what's going on in the world. I do kind of feel weird walking in somewhere with a Chanel bag at the moment, but sometimes I feel on and I just feel like dripping on everybody and I wanna wear my Chanel bag to the grocery store. It just depends on the day. I really, really appreciate the Gucci Soho Disco bag. The only reason why I got rid of it, and I've explained this before, is I didn't like the way it was aging. I saw the leather sagging in areas that I didn't really want it to sag. I wanted more of a structured shape to it longer, but it's just, it, that doesn't happen with that bag, which now I have accepted and in the future, if I do reach, repurchase this bag, I see myself getting it in a red or even the tan color. I don't think I would do black. I have so much black right now, but I really, 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 really love that bag still. Okay, so the next bag, I feel like you either hated it when it came out or you loved it. And if you did hate it, you still hate it. <laughs> and if you loved it, you may or may not still like it. But this particular style of this bag has been around since 2001. That's 20 years. I mean, is that almost vintage at this point? This isn't a vintage one. This is like a newer version of it, but it's the Balenciaga Metallic Edge City Bag. So the Motorcycle City Bag to me is like the ultimate cool girl bag. I remember seeing people with this bag and I'm just like, wow, that does so much for an outfit, but yet yeah, it's such a simple silhouette, a very functional silhouette, something with a top zip, top handle and a strap which would be known as like a satchel i guess basically it's just such such a good bag now i love this bag in every size i have to say the small is such a good everyday size and the mini is just cute and amazing and actually fits a lot in this size for me specifically is like the cool mom bag if you're not a mom and you own this bag it's still cool i would still wear it trust me but for example the Louis Vuitton Neverfull GM might fit more than this or maybe the MM is more similar to this but that bag doesn't feel like a bag that I would carry to feel cute or make my outfit it doesn't do anything for my outfit it's not really my personal style that makes sense the PM is different because I'm actually considering getting a PM because I think they're just cute and little the MM and the GM the big like the dump bagness this is like a cool dump bag right now I have it stuffed with an old sweater that I never use it's like a cool dump bag I love that this could still do something for my outfit but it's also you know a diaper bag and my stuff and it can also be a nesting bag I can put my Gucci Marmot mini in here. I could put my Louis Vuitton Pusha accessories bag in here and have a smaller bag to pull it out for myself and still keep Cleo stuff in here. It's just a bag that you either hate it or love it. I don't know why the people that hate it, like, hate it, hate it. Some people think it's really ugly, and if you've always thought this bag was ugly, then, you know, that's your opinion. Same thing for any of these bags. If you've never really liked them to begin with, then this isn't really for you. I really cannot say bad things about this bag. I absolutely love it and it holds up really well, specifically in the metallic edge version where it has this thicker leather. It's not as mushy as, you know, the original Balenciaga leather, but it's still still pretty soft and yeah love this bag don't know what anyone would hate you okay next up is a bag that i used to own in two sizes i had it in the mini and i also had it in the medium size first i had it in the medium size and it was just too big for me very very heavy and then i ended up getting it in the mini just because i got rid of the medium size doesn't mean i don't like it still i think it's absolutely gorgeous and i actually love this bag in every size it comes in and that's the Givenchy antagona anti antigona however you want to say it i'll put a picture of it here I love it in all of its chubby glory. It is so cute. It's structured in the right areas, but then it also has that functional satchel vibe. A very boss babe bag, but also too, it's understated. I mean, if you know, you know, it's pretty iconic by now, the silhouette. So most people know what this bag is, but it's understated. The logo's really tiny. It's one of my favorite bags to look at, especially when I'm getting outfit inspiration. Absolutely love it. And when it comes to the size of the mini, I prefer that size over the bigger sizes but i actually have a love for another bag that's so similar to that that i would have in 10 million more colors other than this bag but i still love the antagona i don't know why people don't really like it anymore i do find that some bloggers that still have this bag or still have the marmont or still have the other bag that i'm actually going to talk about that i have in my possession are starting to reuse them again and i love that because to me it tells me that they actually really just like the bag and at what point does it become trendy or is it just functional i feel like at one point crossbody bags were just a trend but then it just stuck because it's functional so most of these bags i'm talking about are just always going to be a love of mine because they're 
functional. So I hope that makes sense. Anyways, I love the Antigona and if I had a need to add this bag to my collection, I totally would again. And this bag came out in 2011. It's like, wow, wow, it's been out that long. I still love it. Still love it. Next up is a bag that came out in 2010 and when I saw it, I had to have it. I saw Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen carrying it. It was just so classy and cool and I could just tell from photos that the piping, the stitching, and everything was just right. This was the next bag after the Speedy that I had to have. Like, I had that same, like, fire and passion in my heart. Butterflies in my stomach for it, and that is the Celine Luggage Tote, specifically the Nano. So this is the bag I was talking about that was too similar to the Givenchy Antigona in the mini size for me to have multiple ones of. I mean, in a perfect world, I would literally have this bag in every single color. I had it in solid black, sold it, had huge regrets, but wanted to repurchase it in a little bit more of a fun scenario and I found this baby and it was just perfect. You know, it has the neutral colors and also has the pop color, but I still want this bag in solid beige. I still want it in solid black. I still want it in solid gray. <laughs> I still want it in solid red. I want it in every single color, navy, teal, yellow. I, I just... I literally cannot get enough of this bag. It is so functional. Over the Antigona Mini, this opens way wider. You're not scratching your hands, getting stuff in and out. I like that the strap is removable and you can add any strap you want. You can add a shorter strap, you can add a chain strap. It's just everything and more. And I do not know why, I don't know why this bag isn't considered cool anymore, but but I will say I do think it's considered a classic. Just like the Speedy, it's considered timeless and classic. I do feel like this kind of has that vibe. Same thing with the Antigona. Same with all of these, actually. I do think that these are all pretty much considered classic bags, May maybe minus the Gucci ones, but in my opinion, they have classic silhouettes, so I don't think that they can really be not relevant, if that makes sense. So yeah, this is this is it, you guys. This is my love, okay? I love this bag so, so much. It's so cool. And it's actually one of my favorite bags to carry with Cleo because I can easily reach in and grab her bottle or reach in and grab whatever. I'm 5'7", so the length of this strap is perfect as far as crossbody, but I do want to start looking into maybe finding like a cool chain strap for it. So yeah, those are my six it bags that are not cool anymore that I still personally really love. I would love to hear what you guys still really, really love that used to be cool and might not be considered cool anymore. And wow, it felt good to film and I'm so happy to be back and I will see you guys again soon. Mwah.